This is such a significant project, not only because of the history involved with associations with the Underground Railroad, but also the fact that this church really is sort of the community's identity. If only these walls could talk. They would tell you about a history of triumph. For years, slaves looked across the Ohio River from Louisville at the steeple of this church, which they knew was their way to freedom. This steeple has had a tremendous impact on just boosting the morale of the city. Uh, this really is a beacon project for the city of New Albany. And the fact that so many people came together, uh, it really was a community effort. An effort that was worthy of the 2018 Cook Cup by Indiana Landmark. After a collective fundraising effort helped raise over $700,000 to preserve history. Since it's been restored, it means much for us and the community, for all of us to, to realize that the story and the legacy of slavery is continuing, not in the way it started, but in the way we hope it finishes. Everywhere you turn, you might see new doors, new bricks, or even new walls. But the fact remains that years from now, this old church will continue to have a story as the beacon of light in New Albany. <laughs> Stefan Dingle, WLKY News. Now that the church has been restored, there are plans to renovate the land behind the sanctuary to create the Underground Railroad Garden, which they hope will continue to bring the New Albany community together.